we need to talk about the toxic clothing brand Brandy Melville. This company has been exposed big time these past few days. The CEO, Stephen Marson, is a disgusting man. He promotes discrimination, hate, and theft at his company. I mean, at the end of the day, we should have known this company was messed up just by their one-size-fits-all rule. But this situation is far worse than anyone could expect. So let's get into it. Before we get into this video, I do want to acknowledge my feelings on Brandy Melville because I've been familiar with the brand for quite some time and I've always found them extremely problematic. They perpetuate body issues and dysmorphia. I just remember back in high school, girls talking about Brandy Melville and if you fit in Brandy, you're skinny and you're pretty. And I've always found them extremely problematic, so I'm excited that they're being exposed. But I had no idea how toxic this workplace was it's not only a problematic brand but it's problematic behind the scenes as well and thank you insider for doing this investigation if you want to go check out this article for yourself i will link it below but we're going to be pulling tidbits from their investigation. Let's talk about the brand itself and then we'll get into the horror stories that employees have shared. Insider writes that Brandy Melville is the go-to brand for the type of high school girls who spend hours on TikTok and worship Bella Hadid. The brand was actually named after two fictional characters, Brandy, an American girl, and Melville, an English man who fell in love in Rome. The line has developed a loyal following of teenagers who arrive by the thousands to go to a store opening. They've got a bunch of crop tops and mini skirts, and they also have that controversial one size fits most tagline, which isn't true because their size actually only goes about from double zero to a size four. So it's definitely not fitting most. But nonetheless, the brand has been incredibly successful at selling fast fashion to teenage girls. But more than 30 employees came forward to Insider to share what's happened to them behind the scenes. This snippet of the article writes that this business is largely built on the exploitation of young women and discrimination against anyone who fails to meet Stevens, the CEO's white, blonde, and skinny ideal. Let me introduce you guys to Steven. This is Steven. He is the CEO of Brandy Melville, and he's really where a lot of the problems start at the top, and it's trickled down to an environment that I can't even imagine working in or participating in. And of course, there are other villains inside this story because it's not all Steven's doing, but it really starts at the top and it gives permission to a bunch of other creeps in the company to go and exploit and violate their employees. This man, Luca, is actually a former senior vice president at Brandy Melville, but he's currently suing the brand and he spoke to Insider and he shared a lot about Steven and how he runs his company. Okay, so now we need to talk about the fact that Steven requires every store manager to take a picture of the young girls working at the shops and send it to Steven to make sure they look appropriate for work that day. Employees as young as 14 years old have to get a picture of their outfit taken so that Steven can review it and give his thoughts. If Steven thinks a girl is too heavy or unattractive, he demands that she be fired, according to Luca. He also shares that if Steven decides that a Brandy Melville store has too many black employees, then he replaces them with white women, which Brandy Melville has some major race issues, but we'll talk about that in a second. In September 20 2019, Steven received a photo of a manager working at a store in Newport Beach. She had dark hair and she was wearing chains, but he replied back to that person who sent the photo and said that the store was only hiring pieces of crap incredibly disrespectful to this woman. And there's even a screenshot of this moment in the investigation, and he says in his native language to kick her out because she looks like crap to him, which you guys can see her in the photo, like it's definitely small, but like, 
she obviously doesn't look like crap and it's like hmm wow this guy's standards are beyond and of course people who are trying to work at brandy melville are torn apart by the top executives at the company because when you go and you try to get a job there of course you have to have your photo taken and it's sent to all of the executives and it even looks like their pay was determined on their appearance because if they were skinnier and more attractive and they had more instagram followers they would be paid more and there were eight employees who came to insider and claimed that to be true those eight former employees claimed that they were scared to lose weight because they could lose their job one girl who worked at a new york shop back in 2018 claims that if the ceo and executives come through it could prompt a store-wide diet because they'll come and see all these girls and claim they all look too big and a lot of these girls actually three of them claimed that they had eds that developed because of working at brandy melville and when i said earlier that this brand is being accused of exploiting women I wasn't joking. Employees as young as 14 years old frequently undressed in front of male executives to try on new clothing for them. Four former employees shared that they actually were told that if you went fully topless, you could get paid more. This now influencer Mina started working at Brandy Melville back in 2012 at the age of 17. She said that the first time she tried on clothes for these executives, she went to the the bathroom to change but after a few times they told her just to stay down there and change here and she wanted to stay on their good side so she began to change in front of the executives wearing nothing but undergarments she was quoted saying i always felt like i had to do what they were asking or i would lose my position and just when you think it couldn't get any worse the executives would also go and take out the employees for drinks even those who were under age another manager recalled executives sending bottles of wine for employees to enjoy during a night shift yet most of these employees were underage. A former store owner, Franco Sorgi, actually has firsthand experience of this. Franco said that the CEO, Stephen, did not want black people to buy Brandy Melville clothing, telling the Canadian store owner that it would damage the brand's image to have black or overweight women wearing his nice and delicate garments. He would rather sell to good looking rich little girls. So Franco owned a store in Canada and actually back in April 2017, a bunch of executives came to visit his store and it wasn't pretty. According to Franco, even before they got out of the car at the mall in Canada, the executives didn't like what they saw because there's too many Indians here. There's only dark people. And they also called the customers ghetto and demanded that he shut down the store. Franco was also scolded by the executives because there was a manager there that was too short and fat to be working at Brandy Melville, which is just so disgusting how these people talk to other human beings at the end of the day. Like they literally look at their employees as like products like products that they want to destroy there is a former black employee from brandy melville who spoke to insider and shared a little bit about what she experienced back in september 2017 stephanie was approaching her one year working at brandy melville she and another employee acknowledged that there were more people of color working at this new york city location but they didn't know that it would lead to her losing her job on Stephanie's day off, she found out that she lost her job because Human Resources told her that they didn't have any more funds to pay her. A week earlier, though, the store hired two new employees, one white and one Asian. The newly hired white teenager actually told Stephanie that she was earning $13 an hour, two more than the more experienced Stephanie was. So already some problems there. Stephanie was quoted saying, I felt like they were trying to get rid of some of the black girls because that's not Brandy's look. And this has been a theme throughout this investigation that a bunch of black employees were not treated the same at Brandy Melville. Five former employees from the New York City stores claimed that management would hire black employees for prime hours when a store was extremely understaffed and then fire them when more white candidates become available. 
extremely messed up. So we have the brand Brandy Melville over here violating and exploiting young women and discriminating against black people. But it gets worse because Insider got a bunch of screenshots of messages and that reveals how bad the issues run when it comes to Steven because this man does seem like he's the source of it all. Here are some inappropriate messages between all of the staff and as you guys can see there's a photo of a girl who's like inappropriately touching herself in a brandy shirt. There's this awful man who I don't even know if I can say his name on YouTube and then they've got this photo right here which is obviously racially motivated. That man we were just talking about the one I don't know if I can say his name Hitler like that guy guy, he was actually referred to 24 times throughout 150 screenshots that Insider saw. So this man, for some reason, is very popular at Brandy Melville. Here are some more screenshots. This one right here on the far end, it's actually sent by Steven, and uh, he's like taking the shirt and uh, moving it in such a way to spell out that man's name for a joke, I guess. Also, here are some more horrible references, and there are some employees right there doing the, the salute um, that we should not even speak about. It's just, it's actually so disgusting that they're trying to honor, like, the the Holocaust? Like, what, what type of people... Like, I didn't know these people existed, to be honest. And it's not just Steven over here who's problematic. In those GMs, it's everyone who's involved and participating because they would say some really gross things back to Steven to please him. Franco told Insider that everybody will laugh at the most stupid joke he made, even if it wasn't funny. Everybody would just kiss his behind like you can't even imagine. I wouldn't be surprised if people in the chat would post nasty stuff just to make him happy. Obviously, behavior like this creates an extremely toxic work environment. But it's not just all that, there's even more. Because this company even steals the products that they're selling. Like, this man, Michael White, took a picture of Los Angeles and his image was stolen by the brand. It was inverted and you know, printed on a t-shirt and sold to their customers. And he's actually suing them right now because it's not okay for a brand to go and steal someone's intellectual property and then make a profit off of it without giving them any credit at all. Insider reported that clothing designs are often directly copied from other brands or artists, according to several former employees. Two employees who worked at Brandy Melville claims that they would go and look on Tumblr, find pictures, get it approved by Steven or the execs, and then have them screen printed on shirts immediately selling them in stores. Again, just taking stuff from Tumblr and then like acting like it's their own and then selling and making money off of it. I was doing a little bit of my own research into that particular lawsuit with the Los Angeles picture, and it's actually really difficult to sue Brandy because the brand itself is kind of broken into multiple different companies. So um, a lot of these people who do end up suing Brandy Melville don't really get much out of it because it's like each store is almost like their own company. So you have to go and sue by the store. But nonetheless, this company needs to be held accountable. This employee was quoted saying, People don't realize how corrupt this company is. It's a disgusting company and the company needs to be shut down. I feel like there needs to be a full-blown investigation into this company because there are also other accusations that women were like given substances and then they weren't conscious and then they were violated by executives. There's a lot out there against this brand, but I wanted to share some of their findings with you guys because I find it incredibly important to recognize how effed up some of these companies are so we don't support them anymore because Brandy Melville has been, uh, they've been doing this for far too long. And again, I remember back in high school talking to girls who thought they weren't worth it because they can't fit into Brandy Melville clothing. And it's always been disgusting to me ever since, you know, back then when I saw those girls struggling to fit into the clothes. And now it's still so incredibly disgusting. And I can't believe that a brand like this thrives out here in a world like like where we're in right now because everyone's talking about body positivity and inclusivity and it's like wait where does brandy melville fit in they really don't and it might be better off for them to just get out of here because i feel like it's a little too late to conform and you know create more sizes and try to diversify so i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below will you be supporting brandy melville have you supported them before do you own any brandy melville let me know below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was definitely a 
tough subject to talk about because this store is so incredibly gross. Like, as someone who, like, has so many black people in my life that I love, like, immensely, it's so, like, I just can't, like, comprehend how people can be so discriminatory. But anyways, if you guys have any other video ideas for me, here's my email below. But let's go ahead and open this P.O. Box package item. I did just actually open it because it looked like it was really hard to open. So I was like, I'm going to do this off camera. But it looks like it's from a company called Wellness Parlor. And they're actually in the United Kingdom. So that's awesome. It's international. So let's go ahead and see what they sent me. It looks like there is... um. A letter here and if you guys ever want me to give you a shout out for your business or anything everything's listed below looks like it's some type of company right here so let's go ahead and read their note dear sloan keep up the good work i thoroughly enjoy your journalistic integrity and attention to details when making your videos enjoy these beautiful natural um blends and i hope they add goodness to your days love fifi oh my gosh fifi uh, that is so sweet fifi oh and it smells so good so let's go ahead and see what she sent me because this stuff smells so good oh it looks like it's some like um oh like some like kind of like sample blend type things okay let's see whoa okay wow okay so right here it looks like we have um like these <laughs> these uh uh sample things right here so they've got different ones for like Grief release, sleep oil. I can use some sleep oil tonight. Um, we've got gifted and oh, some rose, some rose one. These ones, oh my gosh, these smell really good. That's incredible. And let's go ahead and see what's in this bag right here. The bag is so cute, little like gold moment. And oh, it looks like we've got like some like full size situation here. So this one's gifted, so cool. Also, everything will be listed below, guys, if you want to go check it out for yourself. Oh, this one's a migraine buster inhaler. Let's smell it. Why do I feel like I'm doing some type of like, um, like drug? Like, oh my gosh, please. Um, anyways, that thing smelled good. And then we've got grief release. Aw, these are so cute. I love them. And then right here, we've got doze off sleep oil. Yay, I'm so excited for this one. Guys, if you want to check out Wellness Parlor, everything will be listed below. Thank you so much, Phoebe. I can't wait to try these out. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.